welcome to series 13 of the festival playlist of autumn as usual i'm going to show you the weekly forzaton challenges and also the cars that i used in the championships now first of all let's have a look at the forzaton and the forzaton shop as you can see we have the bmw z4 roadster and also the chevrolet camaro that car is a very good car on street dirt rear wheel drive i really like that car and i'll be using that also for the community championship here we have the patrol outfit and a pink biker jersey and of course a super wheel spin and the wheel spin now let's have a look at the forza ton so we need to own and drive the 1973 porsche 911 carrera rs we need to earn 12 stars and total on speed zones we need to win three road racing events and we need to win four dirt racing series events now that was a very quick one as you can see i tuned my porsche to s2 and i'll show you the speed zone i used for that now this one is here i can barely pronounce it the penine way now you can do it from both sides as you can see i'll show you quickly just need to have well you can start uh, more far away from the point i started but you can just start also from there as it is combined it doesn't really matter if you got two or three stars but you can do it at that way that is by far the easiest speed zone to do for this car now what else do we need to do we need to do road and dirt now as usual i will not show them they are located here as you can see at mud kickers you what you need to do is it's both the same i'll quickly show you which one it is anything goes so you enter you go to solo custom events and then you either search for my gamer tag and then this one will pop up easy for the ton for all cars it's just going straight and that's it the dramatas will be guided to a different direction now this one is also the same when you go to the other one for the dirt and that's located above it here also if you can't find it just put my gamer tag in and you will see a uh, anything goes and it's also a very short one that you just drive straight and the cars will be guided to a different spot and then you will have everything done from this forzaton this is a pretty easy one now let's have a look at the championships now as you can see we need to drive the caterham superlight r500 i'll show you quickly on the map uh it's a very surprising trail this week. It's a very uh, annoying also a little bit. As you can't tune uh, or you use parts or anything. So we will be needing the 2013. Now it's this car. Um, you can actually tune it just a little bit. So I did tune it a little bit. Now I must admit... I always drive on everything off but i used um i did use this time these two here traction control and stability because it's a little bit uh pain of pain and the beep to drive it otherwise well you can do it but it's just way easier to do it like that now i do have a tune up for it it's a little fine-tuned uh, this is not the one this is uh, a different tune let's have a look oh, i'm in the forza edition um that's why but i do have a tune for that car so don't go driving it in stock but just download the tune and you will be fine in that race now we can win the caterham super light the forza edition that's the one you just saw what i'm driving in now let's have a look this is a showcase remix you will be driving that smiley car that you see on the picture um so there's no car that you can do now as you can see here you have the playgrounds i didn't do it yet i will do it on saturday uh, on the live stream with uh, the viewers now you can win the honda civic 2018 but what car do we need for that 
we need a super hot hatch A800. Now, the car that I'll be using for that is a car I already been using and I'll show you quickly it's the Mercedes it's this one it's the Mercedes A45 AMG it's pretty fast on that I tested on the beach uh, put rally suspension on dirt tires and it goes pretty good on that one now the car that you win that's a car everybody all should have the 2018 Civic Type R, that's this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now, here we have a community championship. I'm not sure what's going on with the Dravatars this week, but they've been like very rubber banding, very pushy, and also have a rocket engine for some reason. Now, what do we need here? an S1 modern muscle. Now, as you remember, I saw, I told you in the Forzaton shop, there's a Camaro that is very good for this one. And I'll show you the car quickly. So we go to the Chevrolet. And here it is, the Camaro ZL1 2017. It's a really good car. You should use that. I put a race tires on it, race suspension um, before I had it on dirt. But you can easily win with this car. Let's have a look at the next one. Here we have RR Spotlights. Now this is a bit of a tricky one. It's street so you can imagine there's a red road and stuff like that. We need rear engine, real real drive. Now the problem is it only pops up three cars for me. That's the 2019, the 2016 and the Pio Porsche. Now, since it's not easy to do it an S2 car, I did um, actually made a tune that has a way lower number PI than um, 998. Now, what is the car that I use for that? It's this one. Uh, where is it? It, oh, here it is. So the 2016 Porsche is the one I used, but I kept it very, very low in S2. Now you will say, yeah, but we cannot follow them or stuff like that. Just don't worry. At the start of the race, you will see in the middle of the race, you will easily catch up and you will lose the Dravatars and you can win with that. I can tell you, if you use an S2 car, a rear-wheel drive on the streets, on a bit of Porsche, you will be sliding three doing 360s and everything you do not want to do. Now, if you keep the car on a low S2 number, the Dravatars will also be on a low S2 number. Now, the car that we win for that is a very nice Porsche. I definitely gonna look into that to tune. And it's this one here. I have to take it out and show you. It's this one. This is a car I would really love to have in real life. It's an amazing car. But I am a big Porsche fan, so I'm very happy that they brought in new Porsches. But this is going to be a fun car to drive with, and I'm definitely going to tune it. So that's what we win from the RR Spotlight. Now let's have a look at the other one, the 911, that's 911 in Germany, uh, in German. We need a model family Porsche 911 S2998. Now that was easy. I'll show you which car I use for that. It's of course also a Porsche. Uh, I was already here. Now, the Porsche that I use for that one, for some reason, my Porsches are um, not in order. It's this one. It's the same one I used last week. It's a 2018 911 GT2 RS. You can drive it perfectly fine. It has good handling. It's fast and you can win easily with that car. Now, I do not recommend you to use a pre-order car, the Porsche, because pre-order Porsche does not like uh, rain at all or a wet road. Now, the car that we win from that one is the 2019 
911 GT3 RS. That's this one. Okay, let's have a look at the PR stance here. This is the same. Um, you just need to call. You need to do a clean lap on the rivals, and you need to do the online adventure. Now let's have a look at the PR stunts. I'll put my filter back on this. Uh, let's see. The first one here is a speed trap. Now you just start from here. From here somewhere. Of course I'm taking my muzzler again because I just love that car to do everything with it. Let's have a look at my muzzler. Uh, muzzler, where are you? There you go. The street version. Now everybody knows that muzzler has an insane acceleration, but you can also use another car. I just always stick to my muzzler because I just like it. There you go, you can start a little bit further away, but I'm just showing you how I did it. Now let's go to the other one, that's here. The muzzle is also always a good choice uh, for PR stunts like danger signs because of that active arrow. While now I should take my dirt version, but I'll just do it like this. Um, the muzzle has active arrow, so you just go for it. There you go, and if you press the brake, the nose will dive. And if you make the angle right, it will keep sliding. So this was a very easy one. Now, the other one here is a drift zone. Now, you can start from this side, or you can start from this side. I did start from this side. Now, you don't need very much points on this one. So what car did I use for this? Here it is. It's my little Abarth 595. It's actually the tune that I'm using. It's, it is shared. It's a tune that I used for uh, on Legoland to do some drift zones, the long one. But you, you can take any car you want, uh, what you prefer to drift in. I just love using this one. It's just so much fun to drift. Now, I'll probably, because I record my video in one time and not cut and paste this one, I'll probably gonna fail, but let's have a look. As you can see, this car is very easy, it's sliding a lot. Now, if you keep holding the handbrake, the car will also slide very nice. Now I'm holding the handbrake, as you can see. And you can just easily slide the whole way and then you leave it alone and then again you keep it sliding you push the throttle very hard now you need to play with the throttle and if you well that went wrong but that's okay if you want to flip the car very quick you need to press your brake and the car uh, flips very well so this is the easy one. You can also do it from the other side, but just do it the side I did. Uh, it's easy to do. Now, as you can see, I covered everything. Um, as you can see, the season that you get is on 50% is the Gimkana 10 Focus and at 80% the Porsche 718. We already have those cars so it's nothing new and I saw I have the Porsche 906 because I have 50% completed so let's take that Porsche out and have a look. We drove it um, last week, well uh, the previous season, the summer in the Rivals. There you go, this, this one. I also definitely gonna look into tuning that car because I really like old racing cars. Oh, this is the car that you win in the overall seasonal at 50%. There you go, 
that's it for this week. As you can see, at 80%, we will win the Porsche 911 GT1. Also a very good car, an S2. If you have any questions or you need help, you can always come to my Discord or you can send me a message. I'll be around and on Saturday, we will be helping with the trail. So everybody have a good night and I will catch you later. Bye bye.